So this is this to emphasize the concept of tawheed, sincerity, ikhlas. Now, maybe someone will ask, okay, what is the relationship between the I and the title of this chapter? The title of this chapter, if you fulfill, if you perfect your tawheed, you will enter paradise without reckoning or without punishment. What is the relation? The relation, we believe that the prophets are the best. The prophets of Allah are the best. And one of them, Ibrahim. Okay, why, why did he, why he is one of the, why he is the best, among the best, the, prophet, uh, the prophets? Because of these criteria. So if you fulfill these criteria, you will be with them. And you will enter paradise without reckoning and without punishment. Then, he mentioned an ayah. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ لَا يُشْرِكُونَ طيب. Allah mentioned in this, in this ayah, okay, this ayah part of Surah Al-Mu'minun. And in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Allah mentioned the criteria of the believers. So one of the criteria of the believers, they don't have shirk. They don't do shirk. And those who ascribe not anyone in worship as partners with their Lord. So if you like to be with the believers, to enter paradise without reckoning, without punishment, so you should fulfill this criteria. Not to worship anyone beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. طيب. Next hadith is uh, very important hadith. Hadith. Hadith Ibn Abbas, radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma, but it needs uh, time. So, uh, I will stop here, inshallah. Tayyib. Uh, and as conclusion of some points, and maybe I add something, what is the meaning, man haqqaq tawheed Okay, to perfect your tawheed. It means to purify your tawheed, to purify your faith, to clean your faith from any kind of shirk, from any kind of major sin, or from any kind of bid'ah or innovation. And we should know there are two levels of tahqiq al-tawheed. What is the meaning to, uh, to achieve tawheed? There are two levels. There is something wajib and there is something mustahab. The compulsory achievement of Tawheed, it means to avoid shirk and to avoid the major sins and also minor sins. Okay, what is the second level of achieving the Tawheed? It is recommended, which means that I avoid some something which is allowed. This will come, inshallah. Yeah, for example, cauterization is allowed, but I will avoid it. Why? Because it has an effect on my heart with my Tawheed. Okay, also we should, we should know the good criteria of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasam. He was Ummah, was me of Ummah, which has all the good uh, criteria of the believers. Okay, Qanitan, uh, which continuously obeying and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hanifan, would directing himself toward, toward Allah alone subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding all the kinds of shirk. So if you like to be with Ibrahim, so you should follow Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam. Tayyip, I like to stop here and now the time for your questions. Yes, please. Yani, uh, I, like to, <laughs> I like to shorten the lecture as much as I can, Tayyip, because you know, if we are going to make it a course, I like to make it shorter. Those who are seriously interested in Tayyip. Okay, please read the comment of Sheikh uh, Muhammad Ibrahim. Tayyip. Any question? Alhamdulillah, today about 40 minutes. Inshallah, I will try to make it less tomorrow, maybe 30 minutes. Salman, no question?
You don't have any question? Halas? You stop? طيب خلاص 40 minutes 40 minutes good okay maybe ان شاء الله i'll try to keep the 40 minutes ان شاء الله ان شاء الله Is it a good news for the sinners who are on Tawheed? I do not understand your question. Book are you referring? <laughs> this is, yani uh, I'm reading the English translation from this book from Dar Salam, Kitab Tawheed. But uh, the explanation, wallahi, uh, yani, uh, more than one book, more than one book. Yani there is Mufid Al Kitab Tawheed, but this is not translated. By Sheikh Abd Al Qasir, explanation of also Sheikh Falih Zghair, okay, or Mufid Sheikh Mu'tamin, many many books, many books. Perfect Tawheed will enter Jannah even a person, a sinner. Right, so it is good news for the sinners. Yes, of course it is good. It is a good news for everyone, not only for the sinners. Okay, but. There is something very important that you should perfect your Tawheed. And if you are perfecting your Tawheed, you will not do a sin. You will not do a sin. Or if you do a sin, immediately you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't think that there is a person who has a perfect Tawheed, a pure heart, and on the other hand, he is doing major sins or continuously minor sins. Then he has a problem with his Tawheed. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ala wa inna fi al-jasad mudga ida salah salah al-jasad kullu wa ida fasadat fasad al-jasad kullu ala wa hiya al-qalb." طيب there is there is a يعني a piece flesh. If it is good, then the whole body will be good. If it is bad, the whole body will be bad. Okay, it is the heart. So we can يعني many people claim that. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't grow a beard. I am not praying in the masjid. Okay, I'm not giving zakah, but my heart is pure. You should not believe him, and also he should not believe himself. Okay, if your heart is pure, if your heart is full of tawheed, you should practice Islam as it came from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. How can a person have a perfect tawheed and sin at the same time? Yes, this is possible. But as I said, يعني, if you have a perfect tawheed, you commit a sin, but immediately you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, if we say, like uh, some scholars said, they, it is possible that the, the prophets do minor sins. Okay? But if you notice that immediately they repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Adam alayhi salatu wa salam ate from the tree, Immediately he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? Uh, and the other prophets alayhim salatu wa salam. So, if I have perfect tawheed, it doesn't mean that I don't do sins. Okay? It is possible that I do sins, but immediately I repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. تمام حياك الله تنوير الحمد لله
Okay. Please study very well. Okay. I want all, all the brothers and sisters to pass the exam and to understand the book. And inshallah later you teach the book. Inshallah you teach the book. You should teach the book of Tawheed. Okay. And يعني, uh, I know that now, uh, yes, I am speaking English. But I am sure that in front of me, uh, maybe six, seven, eight languages. Okay. Uh, Hindi, uh, Urdu, uh, Telugu, Tamili, uh, what else? Thai, uh, Italian, I don't know. Italian, French, no, we don't have French. Uh, Spanish, also, I don't think we have Spanish. So, I think we have maybe six, seven languages from India, Tahib, uh, Bangla. Uh, you should teach this knowledge in your language, inshallah. Okay, this is your responsibility. Bismillah. Okay, Bengali, Urdu, tamam. Marathi or Marathi, Birai. Inshallah, our aim should be learning and teaching, not only keeping the knowledge to ourselves. Yes, Zakallah khair. Sinhali, good Sinhali. Thai, yes, that's why I mentioned Thai. Punjabi, tamam. Mashallah, yes, we have many languages. Pakistan is not like Punjabi. Is it the same? Taib, Cockney. Taib. Okay, Haji Rafiq, Zakallah Khair. Taib. So, Wallahi, this is, this is a responsibility. Open you. And also, this is a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you understand English and you, you understand uh, other languages to convey the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the knowledge from the Quran and Sunnah to the others. Okay, so please take this responsibility. Punjab is, uh, is my uh, language. Okay, Pakistan is not, Pakistan is not a language. Okay, طيب. So please, brothers, sisters, take the responsibility. Okay, if you don't explain, yeah, maybe you don't do lectures, but at least maybe you can translate some book, some books, some pamphlets, or maybe you can translate. Yeah, mashallah, I can see now some some videos, short videos, maybe one minute, two minutes, five minutes. Mashallah, some people translate. The Sheikh is speaking Arabic and they translate German language, uh, Indian language, uh, English language. Okay, this is a very good chance, especially nowadays. Okay, people are very weak. Okay, you, they need Iman because you, you, you can notice now many people don't trust their governments because they, they discover that our government, I don't mean here quite government, I, I mean some other governments outside. In some countries, they found that their gov governments are not serving them during the problem of Corona. They are serving them when they are getting money from them. But if you are not paying me taxes, if you are not working, I will not serve you. I will not provide any health care for you. So people now will trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a good chance to invite them to Islam. Okay, Jazakum Allah Khair, brothers and sisters. Please remember the Muslim Ummah and your dua. Make dua for yourself. Make dua for your family. Make dua for the Muslim Ummah. Make dua also for the non-Muslims to guide them to Islam and also to cure uh, them. Tayyib, and also take a good chance to read Quran, memorize Quran, learn Islam, translate to your language, help the others. Okay, and also please invite the others to uh, this lecture. Okay, yeah, and I was discussing this point with w one of the brothers. Okay, how to invite people because I am sure that many Muslims who who like to uh, to attend like this lecture, but they don't know. So it is your job now. Okay, at least you tell them that there is a lecture, there is an account, not necessarily Ahmed Rum, also the other shuyukh uh, and the other da'iyah. Jazakum Allah khair, brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you. If you did not pray Isha, go and pray Isha now. Because also I did not pray Isha. As I said, the sunnah to delay al Isha. Jazakum Allah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.